Hey there, welcome back to FF14. So, uh, last time, oh, whoops, I messed with the settings last time also, and I was doing my own thing. Uh, so last time, I officially beat in this story, but now there's way more things for me to unlock. So I'm gonna talk to the minstrel, I'm gonna ignore the class quests until I have a one class of every kind ready to go, so I can do them all in one grouping. I still have yet this. I think I'm gonna do samurai for melee, uh, machinist, and all that. But we already know that. Um, we're gonna begin here. Uh, this episode's gonna be me doing a bunch of odd jobs, but I will not be doing the raid, not yet. And when I do the raid, by the way, I want chat to be open so my video cam will be on. I know, weird to see. I'll right, we'll start here. This should be a quick one. Wandering minstrel. My word, is that you, Bader? I'm overjoyed that fate would arrange this meeting, though I'm not surprised. When I heard of, when I heard tell of your journey with Waklama, I had a feeling it would only be a matter of time until we crossed paths. What am I doing a troll, you ask? Why, well, I'm, I am come in search of unusual and fantastic stories that I may weave into songs to spin tales that will enchant crowds, the crowds the world over. And this land has proven to be a treasure trove of folk tales and legends unlike any that can be found across the sea. I have set I have set each and every one to memory, and my head is swimming with new verses. Yet, for all the myths newly added to my repertoire, I still yearn for the tales of new found adventure. Tales involving parties that yet live, preferably recounted by someone who with first hand experience. I and you are just such a man! Pray share with me everything that's happened since you set foot in Toro, and I shall set it to song. Every trail, trial you endure during the right succession, every blood-curdling moment of your assault upon the leaven shrouded dome, I beg you spare no detail. Your words will lend texture to my melodies and substance to my lyrics. Oh, I have a feeling my most memorable works will soon to come. Of course, understand you may not have the time, I uh, may not have the time at present. I shall be here for a while, polish, polishing my pros, pros to a mere, mere sheen. Simply come to me when you have a story to share, and I shall listen and ramp attention. All right, I have a few. Have you come to come here to share heroic yarn with me, Bader? Please do go on. You have my rapt attention. Ah, so there's only two savages, Villagamanda and Zoral Ja. Oh, we'll do this one first. Dragon, big elements. So, what have you brought for me today? I went against a dragon that used every element against me. You did battle with Valagramanda? The Troll Vigil of Legend? Dubbed the Sky Ruin? Who ruled the heavens by beak and talon? Many are the le many are the legend of this beast among beasts. I would wager the telling of your battle is more thrilling than the most harrowing tales. By the hands of devious scoundrel, was the seal put in place by Gulujaja, Gul broken and thus was the living calamity unleashed again upon the world. Only be struck down by Wak Lamont and her mighty companion. This glimpse in the events of right succession shall pro provide me with more than enough inspiration for my next song. Thank you for sharing it with me, Vader. By the by, do you know the meaning of the term Turil Vigil? In the language of the Mamulja, it means that which clings to the earth. A fitting description for power uh, beings powerful enough to claim an entire continent as their territory. And Valagramanda was said to be the most formidable among them. Though you emerged victorious, the fiend was but recently roused from slumber. What do you suppose would have happened uh, had Valagramanda been given sufficient time to regain strength? We would have died. <laughs> Such questions are why we have imaginations, yes. And I imagine I shall. The mightiest heroes of Aetherus matched against a full fury. The full fury of Valakamanda, story for the ages. And you're about to see how you unlock Savage, everybody. It's a song. Well, I have that. I'm not doing it, but I have it. All right, one more. Yes, uh, Zorulja, who uh, see a very symbolic fight. Cool. So it brought. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I fought a big lizard guy, he became a monster, he gonna ruin himself. Ah, the final moments of the former Dawn Servant's firstborn. 
His story gives rise to complex mixtures of emotions, and it would be insulting to call it something so trite as an adventurous tale. As the only as the only true son of Galu Jaja, he doubtless he doubtless had felt a heavy a uh, heavy burden of responsibility to be deemed worthy of succeeding his father. This weight was likely made all the more stifling by the fact he had but one head. And so he sought great power to make up for his perceived shortcomings, yet he could never quite live up the expectations he set for himself. And in this blind pursuit, he stepped upon a crooked path. For thirty long years did he keep company with anger in that dome, yet no amount of anguish can justify the countless lives he stole. You know what I believe, Bader? I believe the moment Zorolja killed his own father, whose ad admiration he fought so hard to win, his life lost all meaning. Hey, yeah, we noticed. Oh, we noticed. His sins cannot be forgiven. It is true. Yet his story is a tragic one. I suspect each of us can see parts of ourselves reflected within it. Thank you for sharing it with me. A dark shadow loomed over the rice succession, and we would best not forget he who cast it. While many will view Zorol Ja as a murderer and tyrant, reducing him to a mindless villain will blunt uh, mindless villain will blunt the impact of the lessons we can learn from his fate. This tale This is a tale that must be told with great care. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one too. Alright, and that's the only two in this time that have savages. Alright, now where else am I going? I'm ignoring this. I need more classes at level 100. I at least want to get more ready for that, because uh, I want to do those. Alright, we're going to go with why we hunt, which is the hunting quest, which I have yet to do many, if any at all. Okay, anyway, this episode, by the way, is me wandering around, talking to people, and unlocking things, so get ready. Hey, man. Why we hunt. Olagua, master of the dawn hunt, wants to introduce you to, certain, uh, to a certain someone. Ah, Vader, the wing of protection has been keep, been keeping a beady eye on you. Today you've been making yourself useful. Your adventures have taken you to nigh, uh, to nigh on every corner of Turl, including Yachtel, I hear, the land of my people. I know how dangerous those woods can be, not only for, from the tales of my ancestors, but from the bills on the board, too. Think you're ready to take on bigger challenge? Oh, you know it. That's a spear. All right. All right, then. Let me tell you what these intermediate marks are all about. Beginner level marks can be taken down by any hunter or mercenary, but these ones call for a might more preparation. I'm not talking about physically, but mentally, too. If you're going to risk your life, going after these beasts, it's important to know what you're risking it for. Which is why I tell everyone who thinks they're ready to move on from bigger bill, uh, from bigger bills, to talk to Tyra Quat first. She's a master huntress and a mentor to would-be vipers. We'll find her down at the, uh, Bornick Gleam Sands. Look for the Zabral with the Colbert, 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 I like Col Colbert, Col can I not say Colbert? Col Colbert. Pull up to her and ask her to tell you her, our history. Cobalt. Holy cow. Listen, I know I work today and everything, but I swear I can speak. Cobalt. Why was I trying to put an R in there? Colbert. Cobalt. Huh. Ah, this might be her. Hello? You have business with me, Outlander? I do. I'm here to take up intermediate hunts. Bolagua sent you, eh? More meat for the marks. Though you look like you have a little more about you the most. Well, if you're dead set on devoting yourself to the dawn hunt, I shall let you a little more. I should let you know a little more about it. Where to, where to begin? You might say at the beginning, but it's hard to in, in exactly when the, that was. Even before Kona brought the system of marks and bills over from Eorzea, our people were hunters. 
not just for food, but for safety, hunting down these ill-made monstrosities whose very existence was imbecile to our own. It was for that very purpose that the Vipers came to be. The finest hunters in Turl banded together to hone their skills and their blades and devoted their lives to stalking and slaying the fiends. At first, we were no more than the fellowship of like-minded folk. Folk who take it upon themselves to deal with any danger they caught wind of. It was only after Galu Jaja united Turl under the Dawn Servant's crown that our role as protectors of the realm was made official. Commissions start pouring in from Yasalani to Yachtel, but we didn't have the numbers to answer, the, the, answer them all. That's when Kona proposed we bring in the system he's seen in Yorzia, calling on adventurers and mercenaries to handle those threats we couldn't. If there's a point to this little history lesson, it's this. Many folk join the hunt seeking adventure, or glory, or fame, but from the very beginning, whenever that was, it was about one thing and one thing only, protecting those who couldn't protect themselves. Don't forget that. I understand. A one more request I make of every viper to train under me. Don't get yourself killed. We save to save lives, not to throw them away for no good reason. Yeah, she found that funny. I reckon that's enough moralizing for me for one day. It's about time I head back to Yachtel. Drop by if you're ever in the area. Alright, now I can take up intermediate hunts, which I will maybe do on my own time. I'll have to see what the rewards for hunts are, because there's like a decent armor set or, you know, things. Maybe I'll do them. Right now, uh, I, I haven't really done much since you last saw me. I've leveled up Summoner a bit and Scholar. I actually was playing Scholar. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back in the groove of Scholar. I'm getting there. This is why I look like a Scholar. Hey, man. Back already, are you? Did Tiaqua tell you everything you need to know? She did. Good to hear. We don't hunt to kill, we hunt to live. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Speaking of, I took the opportunity to update the ledger. You're approved to take on intermediate marks now. Good hunting and good luck. Might as well get a little XP for Scholar while I'm here. Alright. Well, I won't be able to collect it with that class. Let me go back to you. Hunting the Hunter, Bolangua is impressed with your progress. Bader, it's good to see you, safe. The whole city's been on knife edge since the attack. Both needed hunters like you and me to deal with the dangers they're facing more than ever. Like you and me, and like Nap Napikiwa, Na Napakiwi, Viper by trade, always helping out with the hunt. She took a bill on the board a few days back. Thing is, it was for Mark up in Yasalani. No one's seen her since. Might be she's still on uh, its trail, but hearing about everything that's been happening up there, all this about the dome, I can't help but worry. A little bird tells me you've been inside it. You couldn't ask around in there, could you? Find out if anyone's seen her? Oh. Okay. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Last day one heard of her, she was on her way uh, to Teshipia Pani. Maybe someone in the village has seen her. If there's anyone left. This one's gonna be interesting. Question is, what? how old is she now? Oh, sweet. Here we go. Oh, come on, close. No, 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 not what I meant. Darn it. No. All right, oh, I'm gone. That's... I was about to compliment the red mage armor, and then they changed. All right. Hello, you. Good evening to you. Anything I can help you with? I'm looking for a person. Napakiwi. Yes, I know her well. Uh, know her well. Sh she's something of a hero around these parts. Our guardian angel. She's just arrived when the tremor struck on the trail of some beast or other. I can't remember the details now, but I do remember that when the ground started shaking and leaven filled the air, it was she who guided us all to safety, braved the bolts to drive back the beasts that were tearing, tearing up our farmsteads. Where is she now? When last I heard she registered with the hunters. That was years back. She's probably be retired by now or... No, she's still with us. She has to be. I wouldn't remember her if she wasn't. Oh, yeah, she's old then. You should go ask 
uh, go and ask the facilitator, yeah, facilitators at Resolution up in Solution 9. They keep a record on every civilian's location. Tell them you're looking for an old friend, and we'll put you in a, a con put, put you in contact. All right, so yeah, the person I'm looking for is not young anymore. As soon as they told me about the dome a few days ago, I'm like, yeah, nope, yeah. Also, real quick, that's it. I believe that's the raid. I will be doing that when I have a, uh, I'm not tired and have more time. All right. Praxis Park. Overwhelmed official. Welcome to the government sector. How may I be a service? I'm looking for a woman, old probably. Your friend of Napikiwis. One of many, I'm sure. Such a, a, a malleable soul. And such a shame that that injury forcing her from the field. But what career? I should think the better part of our data on the local fauna was collected by her and her followers. Followers who adore her to this day. I believe she was the one who introduced the idea of fighting with tin blades, too. And look how's that how that taken off. Sharing civil citizens' personal information is strictly forbidden as a rule. However, Napakiwi left specific instructions that if a fellow Turuli should come calling, we should send them directly to her. And so I shall. Her registration domici uh, domicile is residential radius 914. Ever since her retirement, she spends most of her days sitting in the plaza, watching the world go by. Let me know if you have trouble finding her, but if you do, please pass on my best wishes. Okay, so she is... over here. Okay, I'll take an Aether. Man, you gotta love work, brain. You're tired. You're tired, and then your brain doesn't see words, and you can't pronounce them. Like cobalt. I was trying to put an R in there. Colbert. I don't like the color Colbert. Hey, looks like you lived a long, I hopefully happy life. You're a hunter, aren't you? <laughs> you you've got the gate, the eye. See a, a mall moth. Yeah, I take it you're her. Balagua. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Well, you go tell him I'm safe and well as I've ever been. Sure, it was a shock when the barrier fell, but what kind of viper would be would I be if I didn't try to make the best of a bad situation? I joined the hunters, put my talents to use keeping this place safe. Till ten years ago, that is, when my hand finally gave out on me. And I leave the front lines. Thought I was done for, uh, done for good, to be honest. But then Her Majesty came to me, gave me a new mission, cataloging the beasts I no longer have the strength to kill. Gave me a new lease on life. Hey, now the barrier's broken. Is Bull Agua thinking of uh, bringing the Dawn Hunt back to Yasalani? If he is, then could you give him this? Tell him, tell him that I'm still here. That for 30 years I kept my vow. Really? Napa Kiwi's Notebook. A comprehensive beast scenario of the horrors that Haunt Heritage found. Well, I'm happy you're happy. Oh, when you see Balagua, tell him I didn't die. And that he shouldn't either. Aww. Well, that was a decent short quest line. All right, I have all the hunts on my good, good. And back to, all right, let's go. Is there a Aether next to you guys? There is, good, I belong. All right. Hey man, I met your friend and she's alive. Wow. 
Good to see you back safe, Vader. Well, any news on the Kiwi? Here, man. Let this dude speaking. She still lives then. And it seems all these, this insanity with the dome has indulged her passion for uh, the hunt, Eddie. The notebook, the notebook makes proof of that. 30 years of work. 30 years! I just, I can't get my head around it. I can count the hours since I last spoke with her, yet yeah, it's a wonder she can remember me at all. So I'm grateful she does. And if she does need my help hunting down some of these beasts, that's exactly what I'll give her. I'll go through this book and draw bills for the nastiest critters in it. Bring the Dawn Hunt back to Asolani, or whatever they call that place now. Guess it'll be a while before folk can make uh, their way past the barrier freely, so I'll be counting on you and yours to take the lead. But looking at some of these entries, there are a fair few beans up there, and are tougher than any I've, uh, I've let you go after before. I'll see you approved to take on advanced marks. Thanks, my friend, and good hunt. Alright, hunts are good. Yep. Oh, wait, what? Oh, never mind, we have a level 100 one. My bad. Hunt goes on. Balagua has something to tell you. Ah, Bader, you're honoring your presence. I've heard all about the deeds you've been doing for Wakulamala. As if ending Valagramada's rampage was impressive enough, you saved the city from those mechanical beggars, too. If there were ever any doubts about your abilities, they were truly answered. Which is why I'd like to ask your aid one more time. Will you join us in our most essential duty, seeking out and slaying those fiends most foul? Those that pose the gravest danger to our people? You know it. I'm here for two more years until the next expansion comes out. Very hero through and through. Hunting down marks like these is the very purpose of Vipers we were founded for. And it's no easy task, I can tell you. These are there are horrors out there. True horrors. Pearl Vidral like Balagamanda. Creatures more akin to gods than beasts. We Vipers wander far and wide across the land that we might learn of these creatures and one day end them. You remember T. Tiaquat, he's been doing just that for decades now, and has come away with long list of targets. If you're interested in finding out more of them, go see her in Yachtel. Now, Kiwi was doing the same when she went to Yasalani, and yet there's nothing you can call a Turo Vidral in her journal. Strange, I thought, when they've shown up nigh high everywhere else. Makes me wonder if she might have left them out on purpose. Now, Kiwi's a viper to the, to the quick, you see. Nothing matters to her more than people's safety, separate from her fellow vipers as she was. Perhaps she thought it was best to leave such nightmares alone. Forgive me for asking so much of you, but if you plan to return to Yasalani anytime soon, could you speak with her again? See if there's something she's not telling us, something we might be able to help her with? Oh, and tell her one more thing for me. And if she wants to come back, me and the rest of the vipers stand ready to welcome her with open arms. All right, back we go. We just came from here, but we're going back. Boom. Oof. All right, back to the residential district, because I'm too lazy to walk. All right, Nefakiwi, you're clearly hiding our really good uh, marks from us. But you care for our lives. Ah, the hunter from across the water. What message do you have for me today? Balaguas, you sentimental fool. I thank you for remembering me, but this is my home now. These are my people. I lived here, fought here for the better part of my life. Step beyond that wall be like stepping 30 years into the past. I will have fond memory of the place. I'm an old woman now. I've grown unused to change, not to mention that. Lady Napakiwi. Oh, man, who's... I like your outfit. Oh, sorry, didn't realize you have company. It's all right. He's a friend of the cause. Let me introduce you. Loin... Loin Rinyu. Wait, Rin... Rinri. Loin and Rinri. Meet Bader, the hunter from beyond the wall. Bader, these are, what would you call yourselves? My little helpers? Protégés, more like. Lo Loini, at your service. 
study the twin blades under Lady Napaku, and I've been helping her conduct her census on the beasts of Alexandria. And I'm Rinri, I've been working behind the scenes with Oblivion, so I've heard a lot about you and your exploits, even seen a few first-hand Albet from the shadows. After you after you brought peace back to living memory, our team secured what we could from the databanks. Found a few, a uh, fair few things that brought a glint to Lady Napakiwi's eye, I can tell you. Terrible vidural, Vader. Bull Agua knew it. It doesn't do to draw too much attention to those fiends. You have the strength to slay. From what Rinri tells me of your achievements, though, I should wonder if you and yours could succeed where we could not. Queen Sphine charged me with uh, counseling in her... Oh, chronicling, my bad. Her kingdom's fauna. And I expect there'll be many discoveries still to be made in the darkest corners. Want to learn more? Just ask these two. Please ask away. Loine, uh... Loin... Yin, Loinen... 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 There we go, Loinen! Loinen spends most of his day on the outskirts, but I'll be here. Alright, so you're probably the hunt guy I want to see. Loinen, Rinri, and shall I? As shall I. My duty is far from over. So, in answer to Bolagua's question, no, I will not be returning to Toriolo. But please let him know that I appreciate his kind words, and that I am only too happy to extend him the same offer. Of course. I see the regulators are still a thing, so even with Sphine being gone, they're still wearing them. Which, it's a way of their life. You can't just end it like that. Like, no more regulators! That would send everyone in a panic. Heck, I don't think the battle arena, which is going on right now, which is the raid, would be going on, because if you kill someone in there, at least they can come back to life. Man, I love the music in Solution 9. And I don't listen to lo-fi beats, but that's a pretty good one. Hey man, your friend's also still doing well, and I got info for you. Welcome back, Vader. Did you speak to Napakiwi? What was that? Oh. I see, it's good to know she has friends. I couldn't bear to think of her alone up there. A viper lives to hunt, that others might live to hunt another day. So uh, the saying goes, sounds like she's taking the message to heart. Taking it upon herself to train a new generation. Yeah, it looks like you're her latest, uh, latest pupil. May luck be with you, Vader. Remember, whatever you do, don't get yourself killed. Bum, 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 bum. Elite Dawn Hunt. Alright, we're done with Hunt Quest. It only took them uh, about 28 minutes. Now we're gonna do whatever this is. It belongs in a museum. Hello, dear. Sir? I think it's sir. It belongs in a museum. I'm getting 300 gil. Okay. The strange man is staring at you intently. Perhaps... Too intently. Beyblast, you have no idea how long I've waited, hoping we might finally meet. There's a matter of the utmost importance I simply must have your assistance with. Ah, but introductions are in order. I'm Zenchen, professor of archaeology at the stadium. At the behest of a former head of reason, I was invited to oversee various archaeological ex expeditions throughout Toro. I heard from a little bird that Volok Shunsa, that you, most renowned adventurer, I made your way to the continent and could think of no better individual to aid me in uncovering its history. As a matter of fact, I've already made a most fast sorry, most fascinating discovery in the wilds of Zakturo. I chartered a balloon to examine a point interest in Shaloni, you see. God oh, darn it, I have the hiccups. Find out, chug your drink. Luckily, your body is smart enough to know, Hey, I'm swallowing something. I shouldn't hiccup. <sighs> I chartered a balloon to examine the point of interest in Shaloni, you see, and soon discovered ruins which may have been unseen for nine millennium. 
Surely Lady Luck is on my side, I thought, but alas, things soon took a turn for the worse. In my spirit of inquiry, I hired a group of mercenaries for protection and made my first foray into the area. But we're no more than halfway through before a host of fierce uh, fiends barred our approach. Truth to tell, it is a miracle we made out alive. Yet for a seasoned explorer like you, I dare say dwelling into the deepest re uh, recesses of such ruins unharmed will be child's play. What would you say? Would you aid my investigation and embark on this newfound adventure? Sure. I knew you wouldn't disappoint. The ruin lies beyond the river north of Lake Tori in Shaloni. Let's continue our conversation there. Is this a dungeon? Is this an after story dungeon? Because I know it might be a dungeon because I can't do expert dailies because I'm missing two requirements. And those don't require the raids, so I'm missing something. Also, why? Oh, I'm on the ugly giraffe. Oh, you poor little thing. You should have been put out your misery. Hello, I'm here. Wonderful, you're here. History lost for the ages in the valley just upstream. It is a landscape unlike any other, teeming with sep tenders of all shapes and sizes. I call it Tender Valley. Oh, I hate that name. I hate it. Doubtless the ruins have remained untouched for all these years due to its barb environs. After all, none would wish to become the victims of their thousand, thousand needles. Though I believe the ruins nested deep within the valley to be Yakoi in origin, a closer inspection revealed motifs even I could not recognize. There's a new discovery waiting to be found, I'm sure of it. Alas, the defense me mechanisms protecting it are too much for the mercenaries I hired. You would be wise not to underestimate them yourself. Unless I forget, you should know that I dropped some of my notes concerning the expedition during my escape. If you would like to know my findings, I encourage you to sh search for them for your records during your exploration. I shall await your return here. I trust you to the honors discovering unknown which lies within. Tender Valley. Oh, I can't do this one as a... Oh. Okay, I'm going to change things up. I'm gonna go as a healer bill sage all right tender valley at the behest of zekjan zekian zekian professor archaeology at the stadium you are tasked with venturing into the valley swarming with sabotenders and the furthest reaches of the gorge of succulents lie the remnants of an ancient structure believed to be of yakoi origin but if you are to discover what mysteries well within, you must first survive the numerous needles of the valley's denizens. Alright, let's do it. Immediately, eh? Alright, I am gonna be sage, everybody. Alright, and this is the level 90 set, by the way, of sage. I hope you like it. 99, I should say. I quite like it. Here we go. Uh, there's a lot of cactars. Tender Valley, goddammit. it! He actually, uh, hate that name. All right, let me just say hello. All right, let's go. I would pick up the log, but I'll do it on my own time. Alright, just keep doing damage to heal my tank. Now. Love it when I get a crit on shields, baby. Wait, let's do it. I keep forgetting to add this, the AoE Daw. I'm so happy to add that. I really am. Oh, the 
it stunned it perfect. Man, you don't want to die. Also, if you're wondering why I'm playing healer, is sometimes I want, you know, I like healing mostly on my main time. And so when I'm doing some things that aren't in the MSQ anymore, expect to see me play other classes, which honestly, variety is the key to happiness. I keep forgetting that's my new move. Alright, my Sage is feeling pretty on point today. Give you the better dot. Heal you. There we go. Okay, just make sure they didn't say anything else. Sometimes they do. Wow, look at that boy. He's big. The feral tender. Do this. Good idea for me. Second, he'll do pushback. So I think. Oh. Ah. Okay. I'm seeing what it does now. It expands the range. He's buffing himself. Uh oh. Beautiful. That was a good one. MVP right there. That tank. Interesting. Okay. So for that one, you want to go to the one that's not flowering. For the other one, you want to go in the area that's huge. Okay, Barbello. I can't do anything. Sorry. You're going to take damage. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, you know, I'm going to start running. I think they got it. Actually, I can get this one here. Uh, 
Okay, there you go. If you want to read that, just pause it. Got it. Bravo. Victory healed. Nope, nothing for me. Shame. All right, let's see if I don't die next time, eh? I would love not to die. Man, I so oh my god, look at this. Oh, it actually looks really cool. Oh, and down we go. Don't break a leg. Is there lyrics in this song? I hear mumbling. Come on. Run. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to you too. Why not? I love this AoE spell Scythe. Big fan of it. That should protect you for a bit. When I put a shield on you, I make sure it lasts. Quick arm materia. I don't really need that with this class, but I'll take it. I think it's skill speed. I need spell speed for this. Skill speed though for no samurai, I don't think it'd be that good. I want crit and direct tip for that. Unless that's changed the uh the way that goes. I'll have to check. Here we go, and here we go. Just like that. Under control. A lot of my things are on cooldown. I only got one charge. But I'm happy with how that went. All right, let's heal you. I'm trying to save my points for the next pull, sorry. Deity material, I'll take. And I'm gonna go and see in chat in case they tell me. All right. I'm gonna keep chat open in case they tell me if there's something to do. Pay attention to the yellow arrow and the shapes. Got it. Okay, I think I want to be away from it or towards it. Um. Okay. We're moving. Damn you.
Anything for healers? Oh, good. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> Literally. I need new items. All right. Yes. I am going from a uh, 677 to a 679. I'm happy. <laughs> Technically, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. And then... Okay, that hurt. That hurt. You're not messing around. I have this, but the battle's almost over. I don't want to waste it yet. I don't use this enough ever. I always hold on to it, and I don't. This looks interesting. Hmm. Ring of Slaying. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they're pads. Let me open this because they'll probably give me tips again, which will be awesome because I don't want to die immediately again. All right, let's see. It looks like a magic pot. Um, oh no, it's you. It's the great serpent. The greatest serpent of Turl. Oh my god! They finally did something with it. Probably right here. 
No, fall him. Oh, this was different. This was different. Slap on. I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh. Oh, that was okay. I had no idea what was going on. I was about to probably die too. What is this? Oh, follow, follow, follow. Moist summoning. That sounds... In that dungeon, I was glad I wasn't tanking. All right, dear sir, you get that and what loot's in there? Uh, nothing I want. You may have it. Goodbye. I'm done with Tender Valley. Yeah, I'm glad I did that dungeon as Sage, cause oh boy, I would've been a terrible tank. You are returned with the with nary a needle to be seen. I experienced them firsthand myself. The pain was simply indescribable. That said, once it subsided, I was su surprised to find that my lower back pain, which ailed me for years, has completely vanished. Acupuncture. Now tell me your exhibition. I wish to hear everything. What did you see? What was hidden deep within those ruins? Uh, the greatest lord we've ever seen. He is the fearsomest leader of all. Scree, scree. I see how truly remarkable to think that the structures of a separate civilization lie in the depths of the Yakoi ruins, and at their deepest point, a great serpentine creature awaited. This is, beyond a shadow of doubt, a significant discovery regarding Zakturul's history. Tell me, what, you thought, what, what thoughts have you concerning the valley's depths? Uh, it remind actually yes. It reminded me of the ancient Ronka ruins I saw in another world, which he's not gonna understand. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Truly, such a claim is invaluable testimony. Based on descriptions, it is likely that in that the ancient Yakoi simultaneously feared and re revered this. Oh no, you're gonna worship him like in the other way. No! S and re revered the serpent of unfathomable power and after encountering it, constructed the temple to conceal it from the world. 
This may be the final element which proves my life's work. A theory of the eerie resemblance of the reflections of civilizations. In my capacity as professor of the stadium, I've taken the liberty of reading the Scion's report concerning the source, its reflections, and the c c c no, civilizations therein for myself. Their finding indicates that the sundering diminished mankind's intelligence to that of beasts. The flourishing civilizations of the ancients was forgotten, and the people of each reflection set out on separate paths forging dis disparate civilizations of their own. Yet, can we say that these civilizations, worlds apart, are truly different? If we all come from one shared ancient heritage, would it not be natural that the development of each society and culture bear some sim similarities to one another? Uh... What I'm trying to say is that it is entirely possible a society which predates the Akhoi and bears similarities to ancient Ronka once existed in the source. Naturally, it is necessary to conduct further research regarding how twin civilizations born in two separate worlds develop under entirely different environments. Give me a second, that was a long sentence right there. Whew. Nonetheless, your discovery today has provided further proof of the plausible plausibility of my theory. On that subject, I would like you to ask, um, ask you to join me on another adventure. One markedly less fraught with danger. And as one who has traversed beyond the rift of the first, your knowledge is insightful considering ancient Raka are invaluable. I would journey to Warlord's Echo and speak with the chronicler of the Yakoi that I may learn their legend. Who knows? We may just discover some striking parallels to the culture of ancient Raka. Ah, oh boy. Alright, let's see where he's off to. I Alright. Do we have any unlocked quests in this area? Does not look like it. Okay. Oh yeah, ignore all these. Alright. I am pleased to see you made it, Bader. I came by Alpaca, and for a blessing felt no pain in my lower back the entire ride. Perhaps the medicinal applications of saboteur needles is a field deserving of further study. <laughs> a subject for another time, perhaps. The personage before us is a self-same ind individual who informed me the Akhoi ruins may exist in Shaloni. They looked after me when I came here previously to conduct field work and are extraordinarily erudent individual, well versed in ancient legends. Tell me, my friend, based on what I've shared with you, were you able to find any commonality? Yeah, common, common, the commonalities between the legends of your people and the ruins we discovered in Zakturl. Excluding those concerning disease, precious few stories of our ancestors who traversed north have been passed down. But for the valiant warrior who brought the Skyruin low, I would share with you a story regarding the Great Serpent, one we normally would not disclose to outsiders. Please follow me to the indeb indebitable passage. The Merle shall explain it all. Okay, give me a second. I gotta change something. Alright, where are you hiding? Nope. Nope. There he is! The Great Serpent of Ronka! Gree! Oh, wait, give me a second. Mount, and let's do random. The boring one. We. Oh wait, how far am I going? Oh, I'm going quite far. All right. Traveling on a heart, ha a half heart chair, from a Thanksgiving event long ago. Never got the other half. Alright, I'm almost there, guys. 
The sunken stars. Yeah, honestly, grab some of that flaming rock, stick it in like a jar or something. Mmm. Alright. We're at sorrow. Alright, before we talk, let me see if I can find the great serpent. Ah, you know what. Let's go. I found the great serpent, guys. He's right here. A legend concerning the great serpent is hidden within the mural. This mural. Pray gaze upon it carefully as I weave for you an ancient tale. All right. Long, long ago, a sect of our ancestors forged north. There, deep within a valley, they discovered the remains of an ancient temple. Its inhabitants had long perished, and the purpose for which the structure existed was itself an enigma. Yet when our forebearers finally dwelled into its furthest recesses, they discovered a great serpent deep in slumber. It should be noted our people were revered serpent. Uh, our people revere serpents as divine creatures who govern the boundaries between worlds. To behold once of such immense power, dormant there within the ruins, they believe it best to build a temple around its chambers and offer prayers for its divine protection. Yet, in the ensuing years, our people were plagued by disease. Time and again, our ancestors offered supplications for the divine assistance. But no matter how fervent their prayers, the great serpent never deigned to answer them. In the end, a great many of our forebears withdrew from the northern lands. Only the most devout worshippers of the great serpent remained, but they too would eventually withdraw in a somber, somber procession, having buried too many brothers and sisters. The sect who remained prayed for the god serpent's awakening. They prayed, they prayed for a salvation that would never come. Yet, why should it awaken now? And what inclined its aggression? Was it simply by chance that it was roused in a foul, roused in a foul mood? Or is there perhaps some underlying reason we've yet to discover? The devout who held vigil of the temple held their belief. This belief. When the great serpent doth awaken... Its coil shall envelop the world. In other words, the creature's discovery was itself a pretext of to legim their territorial expansion north. Yet their prayers fell on deaf ears. Only now, before a benefactor, has the great serpent serpent finally awoken. A peculiar but altogether fascinating turn of events. And if for the being you encountered was truly divine, mayhap it was you who shall receive its blessing. If we consider that our friend here, a traveled, traveler capable of crossing the rift, twixt worlds, was blessed by a being who governs the boundary, would it not fit to interp the interpretation held by the sect who remained? At any rate, Vader's testimony and the legends of the Akoi shall go a long way into verifying my theory. If I can gather uh, sufficient evidence for these two civilizations world apart, share fundamental values, and prove my thesis or outlook on history shall be irre irrevocably changed. Mayhap even an entire new field study shall be pioneered. Does the inception of civilization in its infancy bear similarities in each reflection? Was there some local connection between them, such as planter fish fishers? Or perhaps was there some all-powerful keeper of whispers peering through the veil? Just thinking about make what makes it connect us across rifts gets my heart racing. Mm-hmm. I certainly have my work cut out for me, and now that you've made the ruins safe, I may resume my expedition and, perhaps more importantly, continue writing these theses. 
Master Chronicle, Bader, I can't thank either of you enough for your cooperation this day. I know not where my research will take me, but I have no doubt my pursuit and mysteries and miraculous will see uh, mysterious and miraculous will see us crawl oh, pass again. Yep, yep. Goodbye. I can't read today. I am sorry. Yeah, he talks a lot, I know. Make sure nothing has happened. Nothing. All right, we are gonna return to Turiolo and see if there's any more quests with the plus marker on it. Then if not, I'm gonna travel to each look main location. All right. I mean, other than that one, of course. All right, no, we're good here. All right, time to teleport. Let's open this up. Uh, might as well see if there's one in living memory. I extremely doubt they put one in there, but I'm checking just in case. Music's a little different. There we go. I have a few more days. I'll turn in a uh, class and need leveling. Okay, so we're good here. Let's get out of the land depression, shall we? And let's go to not you, not you. Uh, here we go. Let's go to. You're good. Hey, you know what? Let's just go to solution. I didn't do the quest there. I'm not doing the the raid though. No, 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 no. That is its own thing. I plan on making a full episode there. Yeah, here I have three. And I can take a guess what that one is, so I'm ignoring it. These two I want to do. Oh, I can go back to Gunbreaker for now. There we go. Just pop everything, why not? Trial by Spire. Hello, eccentric researcher. Trial by Spire, an eccentric researcher has the eccentric proposition. Pardon me, but you wouldn't happen to be Bader, would you? The very Bader who saves Lucian 9? I would be. <laughs> I knew it. You, my heroic friend, are in luck. I'm granting you permission to test your might against the indomitable dummies. Usually, they're reserved for military research, but I'm willing to make an exception for one of your talents. Uh, military dummies? Hmm, not to say. Ah, of course, you've been struck dumb by my overwhelming generosity. Not to worry, for I will ease you in with a thorough explanation. Once you return to your senses, come meet me in the outskirts. But Even I don't know what you're talking about. Training dummies? I swear if you're just gonna show me the training dummies and that's the quest... Nah, there's gonna be something more. Eccentric researcher. I'm here! What do you have of me? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. I trust you recovered from the shock of my initial proposal. Good, good. Now let me explain what this is all about. I'm a researcher for Oblivion, namely in the field of electro engineering. During Zorolja's reign, I survived within the ranks of his army by helping to research and develop protective materials. One of my many projects was these indomitable dummies, and as their names implies, their durability is second to none. They are used to measure the offensive potential of an entire arsenal of weapons to great effect. But now Zorolja is no more and pieces return to our home. A preferable outcome, of course, but does mean that my master craft works have been left to rust. And that is an afford to science I can't forget. Peace be 
Peace may demand we set down our weapons, but the march of progress must go on. And so I grant you, who seems to possess might equal to the entire squadron of hardened troops, access to the Spire of Trial. Spire of trial. Of course, I am more than willing to make adjustments as befits the magnitude of your power. As a woman of science, I can think of no greater honor than having you testing the limits of my creations. Oh, this is a dungeon. You've given me purpose anew, Bader. I'll be here testing and improving the dummies when able. So you're welcome to stop by any time, even if you gaze upon my indomitable beauties. Is it a dungeon? I'm very curious. She explained it in a way it sounded like a dungeon. Oh, nope. Okay, nope. I know what that is. Not doing it. Mm -mm. So the trial of Sky, Air, and Wind, or whatever they call it, is a... You get to practice savages and see their moves, if I remember correctly. I don't touch it. I don't 100% know, but I think that's that. Okay, well, um, I won't be showing up. All right, let's go. A new foe approaches. A new challenger appears. I am not doing, but I will be doing something strange in the neighborhood. Ah, oh, man, you know why I love nostalgia. By the way, how are you doing? Um, uh, this looks interesting. Nostalgia breathes a sigh of relief at the sight of you. Vader, I've been looking all over for you. Apologies for the lack of pleasantries, but there's precious little time to spare. A curious anomaly has wormed its way into living memory, and we fear it could pose a terrible threat if left alone. Please, you must help us. Man, you're coming at me with a lot of info right there. Wonderful. Oblivion is lucky to count you among its allies. Let's reconvene at the Gate of Remembrance, then. I can explain more there. Oh, but fair warning, you may not reckon, be able to recognize me at first glance. Um, why? Why? Wait, you're gonna be in a mascot uniform, aren't ya? That'd be hilarious. Alright, we're here. What's going on? Alright. Um... Yeah, it's rainy, dark, damp, and depressing. Glad I came back. Yep, nope, still waiting. No nostalgia here. Just sadness. Oh! She has the uniform on. Ah, there you are, Vader. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's me, Nostalgia. Surprised? Ah, you're wearing armor. With Zorolja's gone, Oblivion's been allocating its resources to an investigation of living memory. Utilizing Kakuya's uh, technology, we developed remote control sentries operable from the back room, so our surveys are both safe and efficient. Oh, we're in the back room. To think all this, to think all this once lay at Ever Keep Summit. I can't help but wonder if a shade of my father ever resided in this grand city of endless. Ah, forgive me. I did say I'd explain the circumstances behind all this. During an earlier survey of the area, I encountered one of the endless. He claimed to be one of the city's caretakers and offered me a guided tour. I accepted, thinking I could conduct my observations at the same time. But that's when we discovered the anomaly, a rift in the very fabric of living memory. I sure, I, I'm sure you'd you'd rather see it for yourself to believe it, though let's make for the experience wheels first. Constancy, the endless who guided me, that is, should be on duty there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just fly there, it's quicker. There we go, we're in a decent one.
You know, you could add music back after. Oh no, okay, it is there. It's faint. Yeah, no, that's, uh... You know, Nostalgia, I believe you're right. Constancy here knows everything there is to know about yesterday, including the new anomaly, I wager. I don't know anything about the anomaly. A warm yesterday, welcome to you, my friend. Or should I say, welcome back. I did not expect to see you return as our anomaly sling volunteer. I do hope I was able to make your first visit in the gay remembrance a special one. Your associate here informed me. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember. Yeah, yeah, you're the guy who greeted us. What occurred afterwards, namely Her Majesty's regrettable demise. Man, you are smiling and happy about this. You need a friend. I harbor no ill will against you. I, for one, would not wish to remain endless at the cost of such terrible sacrifice to worlds beyond. Though your efforts to solve the city's terminals deactivated somehow remain. Still, I am grateful for my survival, as it allowed me to discover this peculiar phenomena. Along this... This drink... Distinct... Oh, district. A lost district of living memory lies beyond, beyond this rifty sea. Really? I previously informed you that our beautiful city was comp... Uh, comprised of four areas but this was not always the case numerous numerous others were thrived until one day our reality was irrevocably altered in the attempt to bridge our world to the others and several districts were consumed in the process among the areas lost was the, the uh, resplendent amusement district known as Dream Borough. This rift, however, allows us to access allows us access through its streets once more. We took a curi uh, curious gander of the place for ourselves, since we're curious to know what became of it. Yes. But there's nothing amusing about it. Quite the opposite, actually. We were promptly chased out by a horde of angry ghosts. After decades disconnected from living memory, Aether Supply, we must have assumed that the Endless who reside there are no more. The once idyllic atmosphere has been marred by a dismal shroud, and I dare say our poor Dreamsboro had warped itself into a place of nightmares. It has returned to us as a lost soul would, longing for connection. The beings within have come to call it the stray burrow deadlock now that's reconnected with living memory in presence is a risk to the city so we'd like you to brave the deadlock and shed some light on this mystery dungeon i'm up for it healing yeah my thanks i regret i cannot give you a tour of the place myself but no i shall be with you in spirit interesting the Stray Burrow Deadwalk. They should call it the Slay Burrow. The Slay Burrow. One second there, sir. I'm just gonna put Sage back on. Clear. Dream Burrow, a district of living memory long thought lost to interdimensional fusion, rises from the rift after decades of disconnection. Yet what lies beyond its gates is not dazzling paradise of Constancy's memory, but a land marred by shadow and haunted by vestiges of the endless who once called it home. You must venture into the twisted grounds and quell the lost soul's agonies once and for all. Phantoms within do not take kindly to the living. This is going to be an interesting one. Man, I'm spoiling you guys. Two dungeons in one episode. You're welcome. Also, I'm trying to get these done so I can unlock Expert Raid. Oh, we're crystal diving.
Haven't done this since last expansion. Okay, they're all just saying hi. That's good. All right, what do we see? Well, I can't see anything. I have a weird visor. Oh. I'm sorry, but they should call it the Sleigh Burrow. It is a, it's the... It is a Final Fantasy IX th song. Oh, it's the Jesters of the Moon theme. The two Jesters. It's their theme. That makes sense. Theme park. Draper welcomes you. Oh no. There's gonna be jesters and bosses, aren't there? Seeing my screen, this is not the particle effects right now. Oh, oh, oh chilly. <laughs> we probably would play until we're dying all day. Well, already I like this dungeon. us with his presence bow down for his royal headless leong the first deny my royal headless. Oh, it's not headless, it's headness. My bad. Oh, oh, this is... Oh, no. this fight.
heal you. Okay, I kept her alive. Okay, that boss was very interesting. Get me Naga Gardens. I actually really like this dungeon and that boss was very interesting. Still hated it. Enchanted tea party. Oh no, it's gonna be colors. There's gonna be something with the colors on the ground. Trust. 
boxing battle. Okay. Okay, okay. This dungeon has it going, man. The moves and everything. Mm. the uh, dungeon is wow this dungeon definitely has a lot of moves on the bosses that you've never seen before put a little dot on everybody oh no they're back Okay, good, you're healing. Stay in the middle. You will die. I'm gonna murder you, face off. Don't see the end of them, they're all almost dead. That summoner is doing AoE damage. One reason I love summoner is a great class to play in your Steam deck. Also, the AoE moves amazing against uh, mobs. Just a horde of mobs. Yes, need. Need? Hello? Alright, I'll pass. I must already own it. the boss lord of nightmares diablos you already killed him need my woods to go shall in terror all right everyone bear away i'm gonna cut scene i mean i doubt they'll go forward while their healer is literally Oh! 
Oh man, you actually look really cool. You remind me of Oogie Boogie from uh, Nightmare for Christmas, kind of. Daylit Nightmare. Drum mirror. Something begins with a T. You're actually kind of cool looking. 80s? Washy. 80s. Attention to the name. Understood. I'll heal you in one second. <laughs> yeah! The warrior, you try. Poker Scarlet. Oh, you want me to res you? Because I will do that. like a solid purple you won't get a bone stack okay this is gonna be interesting you guys even get to see the chat log because i'm a this one is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I popped that too soon. I don't need to heal yet. I mean, I could give you. 
your shield. Alright, immediately doing no stuff to see what you're doing at all times. Different version of Hades with two different mechanics on that fight. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't bad. I actually like that dungeon. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Accommodation to the warrior, of course, because you get it, and then I'm passing on that because that's useless for me at the moment. See you later. Oh, man. What a dungeon. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can close the chat log on you anymore. You're back. Was the dead walk as haunting as we ex expected? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of was. Let me get this straight. You met a disturbed mascot, attended a twisted tea party, were assaulted by a sky wheel and a merry-go-round, then fought for your life in a haunted house. The endless house, to be precise. And with that, my suspicions are confirmed. 
In the days when Dreamborrow yet flourished, the Endless House often held plays with volunteers for the audience. These volunteers would be the cast, of story, uh, cast of the story's heroes and tasked with recruiting a captive princess from Drummy Lord of Nightmares. And that's who we just went against. That sounds awfully sim similar to Bader's experience. Precisely, thus I believe the Deadlocks mon monstrous residents were given life by the lingering memories of the Endless who once called it home. And its name once implied, the district was built for those Endless who loved the dream. The theme park itself likely gained a mind of its own. Over the years, perhaps it too harbored the hope that hero would grant its former citizens final desperate wish for freedom and for home. So as I understand, when Queen's Fiend and Zorolja first attempted interdimensional fusion, a few, a few areas within living memories suddenly vanished into the rift, including Dreamborough. And as the endless souls within begin to fade, their memories and desires fused with their the very essence of their home to turn the dead walk into what it is now. Yep. Considering the timing, we have to assume the district's reconnection is due to Her Majesty's last attempt at interdimensional fusion. But with Tramary gone, their lost souls should be finally able to rest in peace. I'm not entirely certain, but the rift did close upon Bader's return. I can only hope your hypothesis is true and their role in the hollow performance has concluded. If he hasn't disappeared yet, we have more with him in the future. As has mine, I suspect. Long have I served as a guide, eager to bring joy to visitors, every visitor who passed through Living Memory's Golden Gates. But I see now why I remained. I was meant to perform this final act of guidance to lead you both to those lost dreamers. I do not wish to dampen the mood, of course, so I shall take my leave, but I could not be prouder to serve my fellow citizens. I could not be happier that you were my final guest. Farewell, my friends. Thank you, truly. Ah, okay, he's disappearing now. Goodbye. Walk off screen, disappear. Technically, if you don't see it happen, you're still alive. I pity him, but I think it's best to let him go. We should return to Solution 9. Your good deeds still need to go rewarded after all. I'll meet you back there as my real self this time. Roger Dodger. Once I'm done with this quest, I'll be calling it. So I got the two new dungeons, hunts, and... Yeah, no, that was basically it. Pretty decent episode, but I do say so myself. You saw me do two dungeons as healing, which I am glad because I would have died a buttload in those dungeons as tank. Then again, I did sit out on the first boss in Tender Valley. It sounds like a valley of chicken tenders, which sounds amazing. I love chicken tenders, but it is not. That's a Tender Valley right there. A job well done, Bader. With the Dreadwalk anomaly taken care of, Oblivion can return to regular surveys of living memory. We have to decide carefully how best to handle the former haven of the Endless. But I do know one thing for sure. It's our duty to uncover the mysteries at the heart of living memory. What it was made for and what horrors kept it running. So that we never repeat those mistakes again. I like to think that what the lost souls there would have wanted as well. And that's what will drive me forward. Thank you again for your help and safe travels out there. Next time, this calls for me. I have done all content that has unlocked stuff, except the story quests for classes, which don't really do much. I'll do those on my own time. Well, I will record them, don't worry. And then this. But I've been going on long enough. It is now 7.14. This man's tired and is going to go to bed. 
So until then, I'll see you next time and enjoy this big RTX graphics card with its six fans. Oh, sorry. There's actually more fans. It's 12 fans. Mm. Can't wait to go in there and see what's like. Cause I honestly have no idea. But yeah, that will be next time. I did everything up until here. But yeah, until then, I'll see you next time. And <sighs> goodbye.